JR Ali, a travel filmmaker, creative entrepreneur, and overall awesome dude, has just released his Origin LUT pack. In my opinion, he's one of the best people on YouTube on the platform right now. He's super creative, innovative, and just has it really going for himself on the platform. And he just released his brand new Origin LUT pack to the public. This LUT pack features six of the LUTs featured in his recent videos. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this LUT pack, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing JR Ali's Origin LUT Pack. This LUT Pack came out about five or six days ago and I just picked it up today and I've been loving it so far. So after testing it on some of my footage that I've shot in the past, I have decided to make a review on this. Now before the video starts, if you don't follow JR Ali, be sure to go follow him. I'll leave his links below. And without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm super excited to review this LUT Pack and tell you guys what I think of it. So right off the bat, this LUT Pack features six new LUTs. You're going to be getting Bold Brick, which is best used with city footage, Moody, which is best used with waterfall slash city shots. Golden Rush, which is best used with sunrise slash sunset shots. You're also going to be getting Cyber City Midnight, which is best used with footage that has lots of neon blues, pinks, and purples. An example of this would be Times Square, which actually fits perfectly with this description. You're also going to be getting Whiteout, which is best used with shots with a lot of snow in it, or just a lot of whites. An example of this would be the Oculus in New York City. And my favorite out of the pack, Subtle Classic. Subtle Classic is a less intensified teal and orange, which has been used by Sam Cold in the past and it works best with nature shots trees water and mountains now what do i think of this look pack first of all let's talk about the price this slot pack is only going to run you about seven dollars and that's like dirt cheap compared to the others. Most LUT packs such as Andreas Hems go for like $36 to $100. $7 is really nothing compared to that. And for the quality that you're getting from this LUT pack, I think it's definitely worth it to pick this LUT pack. Maybe next time you're about to go get that delicious Chick-fil-A sandwich or go through the DQ drive-thru and get a milkshake, maybe just save yourself the trip and just pick these up instead. If you're a filmmaker, you're not gonna regret the purchase. Especially if you're a travel filmmaker, you will not regret this purchase at all. I've only had it for one day, but I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Let's talk about some pros. Now this slut pack will actually work flawlessly with travel films and travel footage of that sort. Anything that has really bright colors, blue water, anything like that, it's gonna be great on. The only LUT that I found remotely close to grading normal everyday footage with was actually just Bold Brick. Bold Brick is probably the least favorite of mine in the pack because it's a little desaturated, almost like you're shooting in a log profile but you're not but these lots aren't going to be ideal for weddings events sports events anything in that spectrum these aren't ideal for now on a scale of 1 to 10 i would rate these lots a solid 7.5 out of 10 but in conclusion, I think that it's really worth it to pick these up, and I think you should pick them up. I'll leave a link to JR Alley and his LUT pack in the description below. If you guys want some more LUT pack reviews, I'll definitely be sure to get those out. I'll probably be reviewing Taylor Cut Films and also Andreas Hems. But if you're new here on this channel, I basically just do vlogs, camera reviews, and gear tips. So if you're into that sort of stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of editing tutorials too, so if you find that helpful and useful, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, follow me on Instagram if you aren't already ready at Matt Bitsky and yeah without further ado that's gonna wrap up for the video I hope you guys had a great time watching this and have a great rest of your day I've been Matthew and you guys have been awesome I'll see you all in the next video and peace <laughs>